here are the next steps of this project. Now that we have our uh, photo chosen, it's been printed, and we have painted the background. We found out, we figured out where the horizon line was. We used light and dull colors. And then what we were supposed to do as soon as we got our image was supposed to trace over our layers using a vis-a-vis -vis marker. So the background image comes first. There's my background image. Then we did the middle ground image and the object in the middle ground is indeed my sailboat. And when we overlap that, we begin to develop and layer all of our objects to create one final image. This is my foreground. And then these are my some foreground details right here. I traced over that. So when I put them all together, I have an entire picture. The first objects I'm gonna work on gluing onto this are gonna be the mountain. So I trace the mountain, I trace where the shadows are. I have super spidey skills so I can see through this hut right here to where I think the mountains are gonna go. So that's gonna go into there. Then I go over and I grab some tissue paper and I cut out the size that I need approximately and then I glue it on top of that. As I keep going forward, the next object I would cut out would be my sailboat. And then the next object I would cut out and glue on would be my little hut. And last but not least, our front foreground pier. So here's how that turns out next. We have the boat in here and you can choose any color. I overlapped some of these colors to form uh, more shadows and greenery. I have started cutting out textures and details on these little huts. I still have to do some of the windows on there and all the other little details that you see in here. So here's how to get started. I have my example that you saw us paint the background for last week. And it is the lighthouse indeed. So I knew my, my horizon line was approximately right here. Everything we did was somewhat approximate. And I have already taken my vis-a-vis -vis marker and I've decided what is in my background, middle ground, foreground objects. So the first thing I want to do is cut out this uh, lighthouse since this is the object in the background. If you want to glue some clouds on there, by all means, you can glue clouds on there. Um, but first, let's really quickly discuss objects that, that are in the background. The value is going to be lighter. We know that because we use a lot of water. Objects in the middle ground are medium, objects in the foreground get darker. Intensity refers to bright and dull. Objects in the background, did we mix our paint to make it dull or did we leave it bright? We mixed it with complementary color to make dull colors for the background. So background objects, are always going to be dull, whereas the foreground objects are going to be bright. So we have darker colors and brighter colors in the foreground, lighter, duller colors in the background. Details, we have the least amount of details in the background objects, and we have the most amount of details in our foreground objects. So these are all like medium, from there down. And that says medium. So light, medium, dark, dull, medium, bright, least, medium, most for details. When deciding, I can either leave the clouds as are as I painted them, or I can use tissue paper. But since I have a white lighthouse, I'm gonna go ahead with this layer and I'm gonna use the white. Now, some kids put this over here and trace <coughs> right here, but this is in the middle of this page. I can get better use out of this page by putting this up to the edge, all right? Then to make my life easier, I am going to cut off just what I need, and now I can still put this piece back in the pile for someone else to use. I know in the past I've seen a lot of kids cut right out of the middle of it, and then there's only a little piece left on each side. So what you wanna do is just cut off what you need and I'm gonna come down here at the bottom. I'm gonna move it over so I'm not cutting as much. And I am going to trace larger than how I actually want this, the size of this to be. So that that way, if I trace larger, 
I can cut on the inside of those lines and cut off. I may want to double this up. So you are going to use your fine motor skills and you are going to cut out these shapes out of the tissue. I may want to consider double layering this lighthouse. Let's see here. This comes in and this comes down and out and I stay inside that pencil line so that we are none the wiser. And now I have to get this piece overlapped onto my background. This is where your glue water comes in. This is why we need the container with the lid. Earlier I put some glue in here and then I added some water. I did not stir it yet though, so we have to mix this up. You want it to be the consistency of maybe one to two percent milk. Do you know the difference between low fat skim milk and two percent? Skim milk seems kind of like it's watered down. So there is our consistency right there and this is our glue water. The white will dry, so I put glue water under it where I want the object to get that dark piece out of there. I, oops, I look to see approximately where my object is. I can layer that there and I know I need to move my object over. So I put the glue water down again and I'm going to set this down. You can't see it because it is white. So therefore I may overlap it again, but you will be able to see that better tomorrow when it dries. Um, if you do want to overlap your shapes and make more than one of something, my suggestion is to fold, such as grass. This grassy area in here that I'm going to make later, I'm probably going to fold it over, and then this will make it nice and opaque if you layer. More than one together, and to get something to appear a little more opaque, you may layer that. And again, I just come around on the outside of this. Down, down to the edge. And then I'm gonna layer that a couple times so that it really shows up. And come over here. Make sure I'm cutting the pencil lines off. I don't wanna see pencil lines. And I use the edge I should have done this the first time. There we go. I have that. I know this already has glue water on top of it, so I'm going to overlap it again. Remember, glue water goes above and under, underneath and on top. And last but not least, I add my last layer right on top of that and tomorrow that's going to be nice and opaque. I am not pushing hard because it is tissue, it is delicate. So I just put my glue water there. I can add some of these tiny little details and I think I'm going to add them because remember our background is supposed to be light and dull. So I'm going to keep that there. I need some of this gray, so I'm going to cut from the edge. Remember, we never cut stuff from the middle of the page because as I'm done with these at the end of the day, I'm gonna go put them back on the color that, uh, where they belong. So I am gonna cut a cute little circle for the top of that lighthouse. There it is, here's the tip of it. It still has glue water, there it is wipe off my brush so I don't have so much, and then just put a little bit of glue water right on top there. Put that aside. I wanna cut out a little some little windows here. So I cut this. I'm gonna go approximately this size with them. And actually, I'm gonna put a line underneath there for that triangle part of it too. Let's see if I can get that triangle there. So most of the tissue I can see through the importance of this project is to realize that we work all of our work from the background to the foreground. It's not a drawing exercise. If it were, we wouldn't be tracing. So I put this at the top of my lighthouse right here. 
and get over here. It wasn't straight. Oops. Come here, little guy. There we go. Glue water underneath, glue water on top. I'm going to cut a thin little line and make sure that's as wide as I need it to be. And I'm kind of kind of throw that underneath there. There's already glue water on it. Here we are, the little cute line underneath. If he moves, you can pick him up with the side of the brush. And we're gonna try it again. And I keep adding details. I slowly bring this down. I want a little space right there. There we go. So it has to do a lot with fine motor skills, placing, cutting out just simple shapes that represent the windows that will represent each object. And there's another window. I want two of similar size. Sometimes it helps if you little, and I'm working sideways so that the camera, come here, oh, come down there. Pick this up, I'll try coming this way. It'd be easier this way. Here's my lighthouse windows. And I'm gonna put one more skinny one on each side because I think it could use just a little skinny one like it's going sideways. And every day you try to add one object in each layer. So there's that. And last but not least, this one is going to be placed right here. And to keep those on, put the glue water back on top. And slowly but surely, so one day today, I would work just on this background object. Tomorrow I come back to school and I open up my layers and I see that tomorrow I'm going to work on my tree layers, placing the trees. The next day I come back to class and I work on cutting out um, this little house in the grass in front of it. And the last day I work on all of these foreground details of the rocks and the stairs that are climbing up to the lighthouse. So that's it. And at the end of the day, of course, as usual, you're going to clean everything up. There's background, middle ground, here's details. I need three and four together. These get stored in my binder, which goes into my drawer, like that. This brush goes to the sink. You save your glue water. This does not go down the sink. This goes in your drawer also so that you have it ready to work with later. And then all of the teeny tiny scraps of tissue paper need to go into the garbage. Your scissors will go back in the top drawer and these brushes go back into the sink in a bucket um, and I will rinse them out because I do not want the glue drying in the brush. So I will help rinse these out in between classes. Okay, are there any questions about how to get from the background painting to each object in coming forward. Alrighty, let's go get our glue water.